Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Virgos, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, your person showing up as the Two of Swords in reverse. They're viewing you as the Eight of Wands. What you're not seeing is the Chariot card, and we have the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, so we've got a lot of reversals here, Virgo, um, but the first card out, the Two of Wands, tells me that there's some big decisions here to make. Um, the Two of Wands is a sense of longing. I do feel that someone here is really missing you. I think they've been holding back, but they have made a decision here to communicate, and they want to heal things. They want to come back around. So let's see. Why do we have the Two of Wands here? And the Justice card. Some of you, you could be dealing with a Libra. For some of you, there's somebody here that wants to make things right. Um... And we see the hanged man, possibly a Pisces or a Libra, somebody who's starting to see the situation with you very differently, um, maybe because things came to a full stop. And a lot of my Virgos, you might not even know why things ended here or why this person was holding back. Um, we'll see. Some of you, there could have been some legal issues that they didn't tell you about or they didn't, you know, or they wanted to kind of keep to themselves. For others of you, um, really, it could be anything. We'll figure out what that is. The Two of Swords here. Yeah, this person was keeping some sort of secrets. Leo energy. They have build, they've been building up the strength and the courage to reach out and tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about what they've, what they've discovered, um, any sort of aha moments they've had, a decision that they've made. They might even be clearing up something about the past, about why they walked away or why things didn't work out. Yeah, this person has been holding back and holding on to something, but they've decided to let it go because they do want to work things out with you, Virgo. Now, the Eight of Wands energy in reverse, this person knows that you wanted to move forward with them. This person knows that you're currently protecting your energy, and you may be guarded and defensive if they do come around. Um, we see the Four of Wands. This person, mm, yeah, this person knows that what you really wanted was something solid and stable and secure, um, but they know that they weren't able to offer you that. Um, it's, I'm really intrigued as to why that might be. Let's see. But how else are they viewing you as the two of cups? So they do see you as a soulmate. They do see you as the perfect partner. But there's something here that was holding them back or not allowing them to offer you stability and security. And we see that with the chariot card in reverse. Again, this is... Um, you know, this person might be pessimistic about love. This person was some, something stopped this person, held them back. It could be like something cut in on this relationship, um, a third party. It could be work. It could be anything. Um, but we see judgment card. This person is making a decision once and for all to turn things around, that they're ready to move things forward after like a full stop is what it feels like. They've made some sort of decision here to invest in this connection. Um, for some of you, you know, it is possible that this person was juggling. So if this is like a newer connection, um, then, you know, it does feel like maybe they had other options here. That's not going to be for all of you. Um, I do also feel judgment and like the justice card coming through here. There might have been some legal issues that um, that maybe just took up all their time. So maybe they were finalizing a divorce. Um, maybe there were issues, you know, it could be anything with like taxes or, you know, law enforcement or something like that. So you do want to get all the information here because I do feel this person was keeping it from you. Um, they didn't want you to know about it, but I do think that's about to change. The Six of Swords energy tells me that this person coming back towards you, Virgo, it's going to create some mental conflict um, and you have some big decisions to make. High Priestess energy, Pisces, Cancer coming through. Spirit's telling you to trust your intuition. There's a lot going on beneath the surface, Virgo, more than maybe even you realize, although intuitively you probably already know. 
Yep, and we see the Six of Cups. There's a strong soulmate connection. There's definitely potential for reconciliation if you if that's what you want. And the Six of Swords, beautiful. So we see the Six of Swords, an energy of moving on. Now, some of my Virgos, again, you... Um, you know, if, if you don't want to work on things with this person, if what they're offering you isn't good enough, I do see healing and moving forward. Um, but you are going to get the clarity that you need about this person and about what happened and why things, you know, came to a full stop if you don't already have that clarity. Um, but for a lot of my Virgos, really strong soulmate connection coming back around. And again, they're going to come in and tell you the truth about, you know, why things stopped or why they grew distant. Um, or why they couldn't move forward. So let's see what we need to know about this person. What do my Virgos need to know about this person? So we do see this person, it's definitely a spiritual connection. This person has been doing some spiritual work. I do feel like they're awakened. Um, yeah, they've been, they've been, they've been praying, they've been meditating, they've been doing their work. Um, and we see beggar in reverse. So dependence on others to the exclusion of efforts. Okay. So what I'm getting here is this person, um, you know, they may have had some sort of codependency. Um, again, it may have been, you know, there may have been legal issues. There could be vices. There could be like a codependent connection that they weren't ready to let go of. Um, I do feel like this person is going to come in and do everything short of begging you back or, you know, begging for you to return. Um, but, you know, I, I, I like this energy because I do feel like they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to let you know what happened or what was going on. Um, okay, let's see what they like about my Virgos. They like that you are, yeah, this monk or nun energy, that you're devoted, um, that you're also spiritual. Um, there's a purity about you as well. They know that you don't let people in your life very easily, Virgo. So they do like that about you. And they also see this child magical energy so that you have, that you see things, you see the potential for sacred beauty in all things. You, you know, you have this energy of everything is possible. So there is this magic about you. There's an innocence about you as well that this person really likes. Um, and they also, they also like that you took a chance on them. Um, and I feel many of my Virgos, you did take a chance on this person. You saw a lot of potential and some of you, you know, you very well still might see that potential. Um, but this person just sees you as, you know, otherworldly. They do see you as six of cups, two of cups. So soulmate energy for sure. Um, but it does feel like there was something here with that beggar energy in reverse. Maybe they had to pay off debts. Maybe some of them had to do time. Maybe some of them had a codependent relationship that they needed to, you know, that they needed to work through um, or, you know, bad habits. So let's see. What is spirit's advice for my Virgos here? Okay, so endings are inevitable. Okay. All right. So endings, remember, always bring us new beginnings. Um, take yourself out on a date. So I do feel there's been a painful ending here, Virgo. And like, you've been doing your shadow work. You've been taking care of you. You've been spending time on your own. Maybe some of you, when you started this relationship, you kind of knew that it, it might be a long shot either because you're very different um, or maybe there were some red flags here. All right. Um, and we see Justice is coming. Interesting. So I do feel like justice, karmic justice is coming. We see that with the justice card here. We see this person, you know, revealing secrets, telling you the truth, maybe offering you an apology, which for some of you is going to give you healing and closure and allow you to move in another direction. But for others of you, it may possibly lead to reconciliation here. This person balancing those scales and weave together the crown you deserve. So we do see that thorns, like I do feel that you know, the, the, this has been painful. Um, sometimes life or love stings, but I feel like my Virgos, it's really important that you surround yourself with good people, friends and family, and you really take your time to uh, discern whether or not this person, do they add value to your life? Do they make you feel better? They, do they build you up? Um, yeah, because they are coming back around for reconciliation. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. You have some tough choices here, Virgo. Um, if these messages do resonate, I'm going to uh, ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, Virgos, love and light. Take care.